The following interview was conducted with Carolyn Deal for the Purdue University Oral History Project. It took place on November 4, 2017 at Boilermaker Station in Purdue Memorial Union. The interviewer is Adriana Hartmeyer. So Carolyn, to get us started, could you tell me where you're from and when you attended Purdue? Yeah, so I attended Purdue in the Department of Biology from 1970 to 1974. Mm -hmm. I grew up in New Albany, Indiana, but I currently live in the Maryland suburbs of Washington, D.C. Ah, did you um, go into professionally what you studied at Purdue? I did. I got a, a biology undergraduate here and a graduate degree in microbiology and I now work as an infectious disease microbiologist. Mm -hmm. So I did. Great. And Purdue gave you a good foundation for that. Purdue gave me a great foundation for that. Mm -hmm. It's a great science school and it really uh, prepares you for going forward in the future. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. While you were a student here, were you involved in student organizations? Yes, I was actually on the board of the Memorial, the student board of the <laughs> Memorial Union. And so that was one of the organizations that, that I worked with. I was both on the junior board and the senior board. Mm -hmm. uh, and I also worked on the old master's program. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Did you have any particular places on campus that you enjoyed spending time? Um, well, I belong to a sorority. I'm a Delta Gamma. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, it's a, it was always great to go home and have a place on campus that was like your home and your house and people that you knew. Mm -hmm. So that was, you know, kind of your home base. Uh, and then since I was a biology major, I spent a lot of time in Lily Hall. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> Did you have any student jobs while you were here? Yeah, I was an undergraduate teaching assistant uh, for the uh, Biology 101 course. Mm -hmm. It was nice to have that kind of opportunity to, to oh. connect your studies. Yeah. yeah, it was really good. Mm -hmm. Well, and it, it served two things. I needed, I needed a job to be able to you know, afford school, and yet at the same time it was a job that was in um, my research, you know, what was, uh, you know, my educational area. Mm -hmm. So it was a win-win. Yeah. Were there any particular instructors or faculty members that really influenced you? Oh, um, yeah, in biology, of course, the Chisholms, mm -hmm. you know, who were just, you know, fabulous that, that everyone really uh, liked. Mm -hmm. and, and so that was one of the things that I think anyone who went through the biology department knew them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, are you here today to attend the football game? I am here for the football game, mm -hmm. but I, I came this week because I gave a lecture uh, on Friday and the uh, dean of the School of Sciences new um, executive leadership forum class. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, and so that was really fun to get to interact with students, uh, give a, a talk about what I do, uh, and then they invite you to go to the football game. <laughs> Have you had very many opportunities to come back to Purdue? Yes, I usually come back. I, I've come back to give lectures before. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I've taught, you know, for the Department of Biology, uh, and I usually come back about once a year. Great. So you've seen Purdue change over the years. You've seen it grow. Uh, what do you think are the biggest changes? The biggest change, if you're in life sciences, is a Discovery Park. Mm -hmm. That is just phenomenal. I was out there yesterday, and just the fact that the whole cryo electron microscopy was the basis for the Nobel Prize this year, uh, that's a huge change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, yeah, great to see it growing mm -hmm. out there. What do you think is the same about Purdue? Lily Hall and Brown Hall. Uh -huh. <laughs> They are the same. They have not changed. Uh -huh. They probably need to, but you know they are definitely the same. But the 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 main core of the campus, the the quad with all the brick buildings. Mm -hmm. I mean, you immediately know you're at Purdue. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see. Are there any things about Purdue that you would like to see get more attention? Yeah, I think you know. Um, Purdue really has a great, you know, educational background. They get a lot of publicity for their school of, of engineering. It's mm -hmm. really well known. Probably their school of science is um, not as, should be better known, and that would be great if it, they got more attention for that. Mm -hmm. When you think back to your time here as a student mm -hmm. on campus, um, 
Well, first of all, did you attend very many sporting events as a student? Oh, of course. We got tickets when we registered for a class. Uh -huh. so I don't, I, you always went to both basketball and football games. There's, it is West Lafayette, so what yeah. you do on Saturdays. Yeah, it's a big part of student <laughs> life. Mm -hmm. Are there any specific uh, games or events that, that you remember that stand out? Um, probably always whenever we played IU because, mm -hmm. you know, it's such an arch rivalry in Indiana. Uh, and then in the spring, of course, the Grand Prix event always was a, a mm -hmm. you know, special weekend. Yeah, Grand Prix got bigger and bigger every mm -hmm. year, it seemed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you describe what that was like? It was small when it was, you know, I was, I was graduating in 74, you know, it was still here on campus, you know, uh -huh. the offices were in the Union, it, it's nowhere, it was nowhere near as big as it is now. Mm -hmm. Do you, you've seen the way campus has changed over the years and, and seen the way it stayed the same? Do you have any advice you would give to incoming Purdue students? Yeah, it's one of the things, and actually it's some of the things I've talked about when I give lectures. It's really an opportunity that to, to not just um, interact in their classrooms, but through student activities and to interact and develop things they don't think about, which is doing student activities also helps to be, develop your leadership skills. Mm -hmm. You learn how to work in groups, you learn how to work on teams, and really when you go forward in your profession, just the absolute facts are not going to get you ahead in life. It's all those other uh, organizational skills that you have to learn, and that really helps, I think. Mm -hmm. So reaching out, whether it's you go, you know, have it's an organized activity, or you have some type of um, teaching thing, or you do like a, a research project, something that takes you outside the classroom. Mm -hmm. Have you had any other family members attend Purdue? Yes, my father is a Purdue grad, my brother is a Purdue grad, my nephew's a <laughs> freshman here. Uh -huh. So we're a pretty much Indiana Purdue family. Purdue family. Do you remember the first time you came to Purdue? Um, when I came up to um, enroll for, register for my classes. Mm -hmm. That was it. That was it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you remember the impression you had of it? It was overwhelmingly big. Mm-hmm just huge. I could not believe I was going to figure out how to, you know, navigate around this place. It's like, <laughs> how am I going to find my way around? Would you say that once you got here, it was pretty easy to do that, to find your place? Yeah, after about the, you know, they really do a lot for freshmen in making mm -hmm. sure that they can figure things out. And I lived in Shreve Hall the first year, and that was pretty easy to figure out how to get from there, you know, from there to like the chemistry, you know, every freshman takes, you know, chemistry, physics, biology. Mm -hmm. That was all pretty easy. Mm -hmm. That's great. Do you have any other specific memories of your time as a student, anything that stands out? I, th I think, you know, and in, in, in actually it's more in looking back, you realize what, what um, the idea that you lived on campus and really, you know, became part of a community mm -hmm. is something that in looking back, it was a great way to go to school. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I think you almost develop an appreciation for that after you leave because it seems so normal, but then you go to some other you know, colleges and universities, particularly that don't have as much of a live-in uh, campus, mm -hmm. and it's really creates a community that's really quite cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Um, do you have any other last comments or, or thoughts you'd like to share about Purdue? I just think it's a great place, and I think you know it starts many people on a lifelong career that's really rewarding. And so I think you know if you're doing an oral history project, that that's probably I bet one of the themes that will come out with all the people you talked about. You mm -hmm. know, it started you on a foundation, and that's why I think you have so many alumni that are willing to give back. Mm -hmm. um, they realize not only it was well, not just in education, but it started their life. Mm -hmm. And so to me, that's a great um, way to think about your alma mater. That's great. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome very much. Mm -hmm.